Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Thought I would uh, take about a 50 mile trip today, go up to uh, check out the Bee County Courthouse. Like I said, it's about 50 miles from Rockport. It's about 30 miles from where uh, Rusty78609 uh, grew up on the farm. We're just getting into Bee County now. Hey Eric, roll my intro. Guys, we are on the back country roads out in the boonies. Lots of farm country. My kind of roads. Went through uh, Taft and Sitton. And uh, we're going to come up on uh, Skidmore. And then uh, go past there and uh, go up to Beeville, Bee County. There's a longhorn there. Just a couple cows hanging out. Giving me the look. That one's doing the uh, the cat move, a little self-grooming, trying to impress her uh, boyfriend. And uh, can we have some privacy here? <laughs> you guys that have watched my videos for a while now uh, now know that I am in love with these old rusty uh, barn structures. And I saw this cemetery out of the corner of my eye. This is just uh, north of Skidmore, so I wanted to go check it out. It's kind of up on top of a bit of a hill. And uh, it's got this little valley next to it. Really beautiful. We're just getting into a little bit of rolling hills up here. Or not even hills. I don't know what to call it. Rolling brushy pra uh, prairie. Just following the outside of the cemetery fence. I think the earliest grave here is about 1850. And there are a lot of uh, World War II veterans here, Korean War, and uh, wars since. So this community certainly has done its part. I've never seen a windmill or a water tower in a cemetery before. And I wonder what they use it for. It's obviously being pumped out of the ground. And this probably is one of the higher hills around here. So I don't know if it's if it services just the cemetery or if it's maybe when it was first built, it probably served the community. That's uh, definitely cool. They have some interesting headstones here. And uh, I wish my knees were a little bit better today. I, I do like to get out and read the headstones. But just uh, from what I can, the ones close to the road that I can see, uh, big uh, military area. A lot of people serve their country. Thank you, Skidmore. It's a very nice day, guys. 65 degrees, early December. Sunny. Kind of rained all day yesterday. And uh, yeah, even just as the fireworks started. Started pouring, getting into Beeville now, and I have uh, only taken the highway right by Beeville. I've never been in this little downtown area, and it looks bigger than I thought. What's, what's that say? Beeville Coca-Cola Bottling Company. That's interesting. And uh, Beeville has a county cornhouse. It's pretty cool. It's not as grand as some of the other ones we've seen, but... It looks to be from that same time period, 1850s to 1870s, like most of them are in this area. That's pretty cool. It's got a jet on the front. You don't see a whole lot of that. That's the library, guys. That is awesome. It is Sunday today, so I wish that was open. And that's the uh, Republican headquarters. But I would love to check out that library looks pretty cool let's go up and uh, check out the courthouse 
Come on, knees. Left, right, left, right. You know the drill. <laughs> no matter which way I shoot, I'm shooting into the sun. Have you noticed that <laughs> so far? That jet says Lexington on it. USS Lexington. That's the aircraft carrier in uh, Corpus Christi. Well, that's really neat. Uh, that clock is working. Wow. Either that or we just happened to get here at the time that clock broke. Lots of details. B County Courthouse created 1857 from parts of five neighboring counties. Huh. 1857. Classical Revival style. Seems like everything up uh, along the roof line. Wow, look at that detail. That's where all the money went. I mean, it's a nice looking building, but um, yeah, all the details in the top. You got a MIA flag. Man, can you imagine that, having a loved one, MIA, missing in action, or POW? It's got to be horrible. They have this little seating area out here. And uh, pretty awesome looking uh, fighter. USS Lexington Navy. Douglas A4 Skyhawk Carrier based jet attack aircraft designed for the US Navy and Marine Corps Early models of the A4 entered service in 1956 and were produced over a longer time than any other jet in the world. Its simplicity and effectiveness allowed numerous improved models to be developed. The A4 series was used extensively in Vietnam and is still in wide use by the Navy, Marines, and several foreign nations. The TA-4J trainer, a two-seat version, is used for advanced jet training of Naval and Marine Corps aviators at Training Air Wing 3 NAS Naval Air Station Chase Field Jet Training of Navy and Marine Corps aviators. Let's see. Wingspan 27 feet 5 inches, length 42 feet 10 inches, maximum weight 22,500 pounds, maximum speed 680 miles an hour with a range of 2,000 miles. Presented by the U.S. Navy. Wow. It was kind of unexpected to see a fighter jet on the front lawn of City Hall. There's the Love Shack, speaking of uh, impressive machinery. So they actually have a downtown here. They have it, uh, some Christmas decorations up. And uh, yeah, most of these stores are uh, filled. Beeville, there's a nutcracker. Oh no, that's just Fred. There, Fred. I like to bust your nuts every once in a while, too. Cashews, walnuts, chestnuts, all kind. Merry Christmas, buddy. <laughs> there you go. I should have got Mark in the Mark cam with me today. 
Reminds me of a place we went to in uh, Hondo, Texas. They do have some very nice houses here. And uh, the Beeville Art Museum. And they have some things around the property. Well, wow. it's a nice looking home at one point. And they have some art. They build these little mounds for displays out in the, out in the uh, yard. Well, that's neat. I'm more into Van Gogh, but everyone has their own taste. Man, the upkeep on this building is just amazing. Good job, Beeville. Hmm. I have no idea. Gotta love a town with a coffee place. Fuel your soul. I will. And there's my uh, favorites. Uh, I got a joke from Sandy. Well, I used to tell a lot of pizza jokes, but I found them too cheesy. Blame Sandy, guys. Washing of the feet. Who is this, guys? Is that Jesus on the right? I feel like I should know this one. I don't know if that's a John the Baptist and Jesus statue, but it just seems familiar. The Bomb Barbecue. I don't know if I want to eat at any place called The Bomb. I just think of explosive diarrhea. But I bet they do have good reviews. There's the Coca-Cola Bottling Company again. Guys, we're going to be leaving uh, Beeville and uh, see what we can see on the way home. But... Yeah, there's a lot here. I saw so many good places to eat. Like, I'd really like to try that bomb barbecue. And there was a place called Pizzerific. And I'm just not hungry today. Did you ever get those days? You know, some days I'm eating everything. No, we're not getting ice cream. I know I'm talking about food. Look, like, like if I was second in line, I'd still be out on the highway risking my life to get you guys ice cream. We're, we're, we're not getting ice cream. It's not in the budget. Some of you guys really didn't behave all that well today. All right. All right. This one time. This one time, we'll, we'll go get ice cream. All right. I don't want to hear any complaining that you didn't get what you want. We're on a budget here. So uh, let's go. Hey. Uh, yes. Can I get 1,689 dilly bars, please? Okay. Thank you. Somebody better PayPal me some money real quick. <laughs> Do not get ice cream in my truck, guys. Everyone get a napkin. We're uh, heading through the open farm country now. It's a good thing about Texas, man. They can plant year-round for the most part. Got the wind turbines going. My only problem with that place, they have eight flags and not one American flag. That's a hard pass for me. Some longhorns eating. This is right by we, uh, where we saw the Z donks in uh, Rockport. Yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride, guys. No, 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 no. We're all getting the same thing. No, we're all getting the same thing. No one cares what you want, Karen. <laughs>